ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. I'ma turn up the music, wake up the neighbors. Kanye has reacted to Donda 2 being ineligible on the Billboard charts, declaring it a win, and he released another video for Easy, attacking Pete Davidson for a second time. Another day, more news about Kanye. Yes. So let's first start with his reaction to being ineligible for the charts. Yes, yeah, so um, he went on Instagram to talk about Donda 2's chart eligibility. Um, as we know, Donda 2 failed to meet chart expect, uh, requirements because it was released directly through the STEM player. Mm -hmm. yep. um, um, and so he posted, he actually had a very positive outlook on it, which was really which surprising. Rare. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye. So he posted that it was a big win for the kid. We can no longer be counted or judged. We set our own value and yesterday's price is not today's price. Interesting. Well, it's, it, I'm curious to know like how it would have done if it actually was released normally, because yeah. what we do know is he racked up 1.3 million in sales in the first 24 hours after the album announcement, selling 39,500 for a reported net sales of 8 million. Yeah, and the original Donda did really well too. It moved more than 300,000 equivalent album units in its first week, and it was a top five album. Totally. So it did pretty well too. Uh, let's move on because Kanye released his second video for Easy, also taking aim at Pete Davidson yet again. We're not surprised. Nope. Um, so Kanye is continuing his hate campaign mm -hmm. against Pete Davidson. As we know, the first video showed Ye kidnapping and burying a claymation Pete Davidson so alive. Intense. Yeah. Yeah, and in the new one, there's like this red figure and it's beating up another figure that's like clearly Pete. It's his blurred out face. It has skeet on the sweater, which we know is his nickname Obviously. that he's been going on of calling him for the past like couple weeks. Yep, let's take a look. God sent me from that crash just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass. Who? I mean, I'm sure he's gonna get backlash for that one as well. Rightfully so. I mean, he is, I mean, can we be real? He's, of course. He's harassing Pete. Yeah. Like, he did respond to the backlash by saying that art is not a proxy for any ill or harm, which I do understand to an extent, but when you are an artist with this big of a reach and your fans like listen to you like your word is gospel Which quite literally you are <laughs> making God, yeah. right <laughs> making gospel so you got to be careful totally. because you're putting someone Pete is somebody who's really open about his mental health issues mm. so you're putting someone like Pete in an emotionally and physically vulnerable position and so he's 44 years old totally. like why are you acting like this and I think I just wonder too are the rest of his music videos gonna take aim at Pete like is this just gonna be like a Pete hate album because it is becoming just it's a lot at this point gotta heal Kim's not gonna want you back like this you gotta stop Preach, girl. <laughs> for more on this story head to billboard.com for billboard news I'm Chelsea Briggs